Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we're going to talk about antivirus software. Actually, this is going to be a series of videos on antivirus software for computers. Uh, today we're starting with Norton 360. I've installed the trial version, which is a full working version of Norton 360 uh, for 30 days. I've been uh, really trying it out for the past three days and uh, checking out its protection, how it works, does it work well? Does it do its job okay? And uh, also checking out how it actually works and how many resources of the computer you use when you have Norton installed. Is it slowing down your computer or not? Um, so we'll kind of you know talk about these options here. So Norton 360. First of all, I'm not a fan of Norton. I've was a fan of Norton back in the 2000 to 2004 days, that area. Starting 2004, Norton became this really big bloated software that would slow down your computer and really, really actually be one of the worst antivirus product out there. And I kind of left that period and finally, uh, you know, went into free antivirus. Actually, a bad Norton experience back in 2004 made me uninstall Norton forever and I stayed with free antiviruses since then and you know that's the bad thing about bad software is they actually make you wonder if you should really pay for it uh, at some point. Now I was um, at a client's uh, house and I noticed that she had Norton 360 inst installed and the computer was a little old so I was uh, surprised that the fact that it didn't seem to uh, slow down the computer that much. And so I thought, well, should I give Norton 360 a trial? Uh, you know, just try it on my computer and see what I think. So installed this 30-day version. And I'm actually uh, surprised at how well the computer handles Norton 360. It actually didn't, I don't even notice that it's installed except for the fact there's an icon. Uh, it didn't slow down my startup. It didn't slow down my computer at all. Uh, it didn't slow down my internet navigation. So browsing on the web is as fast as it was. And that is all things that surprised me because I remember the last time I had Norton, it slowed down everything. And I think they really did a great, great job now. So Norton 360 comes, it's really a full package. That's why it's called 360, because you got different packages on the web for Norton. You've got just the antivirus, you've got the antivirus with um, the firewall, you've got, which is Norton Security, Internet Security. Uh, 360 is basically a security software with antivirus with its own firewall, has identity theft protection, as a backup solution except that if you really have a lot of files you might need to buy extra backup space so I'm not fond of the backup area and TuneUp think of TuneUp as a CCleaner software integrated into Norton but with less capabilities though so first of all the security features well you've got antivirus protection, firewall, everything that you need. I've tested it because I went to a few websites that I knew that if I clicked something or I did something, I'd have a virus in my computer probably downloading a virus and stuff. It detected everything that I wanted to check. Um, it has a smart firewall which is really, really welcome because the old Norton firewall was just horrible. It would ask you all the time if you want to give this or that, uh, you know, internet access. And it would often be, you know, cryptic stuff like, uh, oh, uh, AFVCC9.exe wants to access the web. And, you know, what the hell do you answer to something like that? Uh, I understand people just looked at it and said, what is that? And do I say yes? Uh, 
they really improved it a lot because it does have now a very, very smart firewall. It barely, barely asks you anything. It knows what to say yes. Uh, like the Windows firewall, they've really, you know, improved it a lot. Uh, is it better than the Windows firewall? I'm not really sure because in Windows uh, 7 and in Windows 8, the Windows firewall is actually quite good. Uh, it's not like Windows XP. and Windows XP, the firewall is kind of very basic. But uh, since Windows Vista and, you know, Vista 7 and 8, the firewall in Windows is quite good. I'd say they're probably equivalent. I don't think it is better, but I think it is as good as it gets. Uh, one thing about firewalls, anyway, if you run, you have a router, you know, for Wi-Fi. One thing that you need to know is that your router does have a firewall. And a router's firewall is a million times better than any software firewall on your computer. So that's one thing. Uh, remember that a virus in your computer can change the firewall settings or just disable it. But it can't disable your router's firewall. That one is there and stays there. Um, identity theft protection is made in a sense that it actually has a list of scam websites and phishing websites and that's how it works. It simply knows when you are accessing a website that's dangerous and that could steal your identity. So if you receive an email, for example, with a phishing site for a bank, uh, PayPal, whatever, when you click, it's going to block it. It's going to say, hey, this is a fake website. That's dangerous. Don't go here. Um, I've tried it with a few uh, sites that I knew existed. Uh, one from PayPal. One was a phishing site for PayPal trying to steal your account info. Uh, the PayPal actually um, was blocked immediately and it said, well, this is a, a, a phishing site. I also went to a website that I found by chance that was like a scam website. It blocked it immediately also. So it seems to do the job quite well. Remember that in Internet Explorer 11 with Windows uh, 8 and Windows 7, one of the things is that you've got the smart screen filter and it does basically a little bit that same job. Um, one thing I would probably say is that the Norton list of websites, scam sites, is probably a little better than the one from the smart screen filters in Internet Explorer, for example. You get backup. Um, honestly, I think backup is useless in this piece of software. I'm not fond of this type of backup. You get much better solutions for backup with uh, something like Carbonite and even better yet, buy yourself an external hard drive and program the automatic backup stuff. I think it is better. Online backup for important files is cool, but when you have a lot of gigabytes is rather annoying because uh, who wants to download, you know, a hundred gigabyte of data if they uh, have a problem with their computer. Uh, TuneUp. TuneUp is basic. You've got the disk optimization. It's actually uh, pretty much a disk defrag that you already have in Windows anyways. Uh, if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, your defrag is actually working automatically without you knowing it when you don't touch your computer for a few minutes. Uh, file cleanup is very basic. It's not like CCleaner that really can clean really deeply into Windows. This one just, you know, takes out the temporary files and that's it. You've got diagnostic reports that you can check if your computer is running slow. It's going to give you, oh, your graphic card is actually responding slowly or uh, your disk access or the, this program is actually using a lot of resources uh, in your computer. It's an okay information. The problem that I have with it is the fact that 
on slower computers, it will sometimes tell you, oh, well, um, your computer is running slow. Uh, yeah, but when you look at what's making it run slow, it's actually Norton 360. So <laughs> it's kind of a little stupid. Uh, so, you know, I'm not that fond of this type of section here in Norton. Uh, the only interesting thing about the tuner that I like is the startup manager. The startup manager actually shows you everything that starts when you boot your computer. And it's nice because it actually shows you things that start that aren't actually in the task manager list. So it really shows you more stuff. And you can, of course, uh, remove the check marks and make sure that it doesn't start up next time. So this is nice for that. And it gives you the resource usage of the different startup items. Uh, overall, the computer runs quite fast. I haven't seen any difference in speed of my computer with Norton. It does add in your browser a toolbar in Internet um, Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. Uh, the only difference is that in Chrome, you need to go to the Play Store, the Chrome Store, where you will download it from there. It cannot add it by itself. Um, in Internet Explorer, once I installed Norton, it, had, it told me that it had new uh, toolbars and add-ons. Uh, what's nice about this is it tells you if websites are safe, but there's a catch. And I'm going to give you an, ad, uh, an example. I went to Malwarebytes. I, I search Malwarebytes in Google. And what's happening is that it gave me, first of all, the first website, which is the original Malwarebytes website. And it says it's secure and it's normal. So you get this little Norton check secure. Tells you if the website's OK or not. But the problem I actually found is that when I do this search, there was a website. Um, it doesn't show now. It was there a little earlier, but it, I don't see it right now. There was one that is actually to download Malwarebytes from another source. And the problem is that that other source was stated as safe. And that's where I understand that secure and safe is different. Uh, you should download stuff from secure websites, but not necessarily from safe websites. And when I downloaded, I knew that the website where I downloaded actually had malware. So it still told me that it was safe. I clicked the download button to see what happened. And uh, actually, at least one of the good things is that when it started downloading the file, when it checked, it said, oh, I'm deleting the file. There's malware. So at least it knew that it had malware. But uh, I'm sorry, it shouldn't have been checked safe, should have been removed from or at least put in the bad websites. So uh, here's the website. It says safe. But when I down click here, ah, that's interesting because now it seemed to have changed. I hear this. Uh, when you click this big green button, I know that I'll have malware. And when I clicked it in download, it actually told me that malware was in that file and it removed it. At least it knew. But it, should, it shouldn't be you know, safe because it is visibly not a safe website. Of course, you can add to the information and say, well, no, this is not a safe website. Uh, I'm sorry, this thing is not safe. But uh, overall, I think it's a good package. And uh, Northwind 360 does a great job. It's really, really improved um, compared to other antiviruses, uh, other Norton antiviruses in the past. So uh, it's really, really nice. And um, I think this is a great, great piece of software now. It is much better than it was before. And um, I think if you want to have a great package, Norton 360 is at 60 bucks. Uh, check for local 
stores like uh, Best Buy, Future Shop or your local computer store because I've noticed that online it's 60 but I often often see it on sale at 30 bucks 29 or 35 when you go buy the you know CD version so uh, before you buy online go check out your favorite computer store uh, this is for one year and actually is for three computers which is very nice because today most households have more than one computer now um, I go to you know clients homes and they have uh, two three PCs this is nice because it has protection for the full computers you have in your home and uh, I think that's cool and it's a one-year subscription of course um, I think if you have a business that's running on your computer if you have lots of people using a computer and you're doing banking stuff and I think a good protection is necessary so why not take a peek at Norton 360 um, when you go to the website why not if you aren't sure if you want to buy it if you want to test it out make sure it doesn't slow down your computer uh, I suggest that you actually buy check not buy but take the 30 30 day free trial install it um, you know create that free account because you need to create a free account to activate it and try it for 30 days and check out if you like it or not uh, remember that no antivirus software is 100% the user is number one security that's very important to understand so it's what you do with your computer that's really really important and uh, well hopefully this might be a good package for you uh, check it out and uh, check out my other videos I'm going to do a lot of videos and in the coming days about different antiviruses and uh, maybe you'll have one that seems better than the others so uh, if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a feature a problem something you'd like us to talk about uh, let us know and we'll try to put that video online and hopefully you will come back to the easy computer faces channel thank you for watching bye bye